In this short video, we're going to show you a built-in mechanism of a sequential function chart that will help you recover from a process upset, like a power down or sim similar to like a process that would just, uh, like if you went to change your controller back and forth between program and remote run, or if you had, a, like I said, a power down or some of that nature. So you can see that my process right now is running. Um, if I hit the stop button, you can see that it, it basically, and now I'm going to stop at my initial step. Now there is in sequential function charts, what they call a, an initial step, right? So your initial step was where you're going to basically start no matter where, what, when your process first scans the sequential function chart. But after that is not guaranteed that it's going to start there, right? So how do we actually go about starting it from the initial step every single time we have a process upset. I'm going to show you that right quick. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into our controller properties. You note you can go into controller properties right by right clicking up top or down here in your controller and right clicking properties. Now you're going to go to SFC execution and right here you're going to see note that I have restart position I have my checkbox checked for restart and initial step. So let me show you this. So if we actually start this back, right, I'll start that back. Okay, now my process is running. Now I'm going to interrupt the process and I have a 3D working model of my machine and basically I'm going to restart it. I'm going to reload my drivers and reload my driver so that my, my machine will, will load properly. But before I actually start it, I'm gonna show you. Now, if I change my controller to program mode and then back to uh, like back to run mode, so the, this will simulate a process upset, it will start in the initial step. So right here, it will go back to step one. Now, if I reload my system, it starts back and starts working it's just like it's supposed to, right? Just like it always has. Now, how do you do that, right? So you notice you're not going to be able to turn this on, turn uh, the SFC execution. You're not gonna be able to change any of this online. Um, now, what you can do is you go offline and then go to controller properties and that's when the highlighted button will appear. Now again, that shows you where you can change um, different things about your sequential function chart execution. Now also this does, does work with the initial step and how the, the basically changing the, the type of step from normal to initial, right? So each one of these below that would be normal. Uh, as you can see, all the rest of my steps are normal. They're not uh, required to have the initial um, meaning the initial is only going to be the very first one that gets scanned, right? When the scan first starts. So just think about that when you're thinking about a recovery mechanism, how can you actually go about it? How can you actually go and uh, get a natural ability to recover from a sequential function chart upset um, in your machine? Like if your machine has a scope of work and you're, it's doing that scope of work and it's reliable, how do you build in a a mechanism to actually recover from and that's generally what we do is we come up here to sequential function chart execution and restart it from the initial step now again that goes back to the initial step right here and that's an easy way to determine that also to this little quick scroll auto scroll tool will auto scroll the whole program as it's actually going down and you can see that uh, is a very effective tool is while you're if you're trying to figure out where exactly in the sequential function chart is the program right you can see it scrolls along with that just by highlighting that little auto scroll button so hopefully this was helpful i showed you guys a couple quick tips about sequential function charts and again when it comes down to it it's about passing knowledge helping everybody grow so hopefully you enjoyed that we'll see you guys on the next one